Today, I will be unboxing the NZXT Kraken X52, and I will also be installing it in my computer. This case specifically is an Antec P50. So when you take the NZXT Kraken X52 out of the box, you will notice you get the radiator, the socket, power connectors, and the two fans. Now, for the Antec P50, there is just one slight problem. The problem with the Antec P50 case is that it does not have an opening on the other side of the case like normal cases do, so I had to take the motherboard out, but that's okay. So I am going to off camera take the Intel stock fan off. All right, so I have taken the Intel stock fan off and uh, wiped all of the thermal paste off. Now it's time to install the Intel socket. Okay, so this is the Intel backplate. You'll notice that the holes are pointing into each other. This is for LGA 1150 whatever, 1150X. If these were pointing outwards, that would be LGA 1366. It just easily slides in. Now, in this bag contains the screws to hold the pump in place, so I am going to be taking out the screws that we need, which will be these screws. These screws are specifically for LGA 2011. So let's get each one of these screwed in. And when you do screw things in like this, you might want to consider doing it diagonal to diagonal instead of left and right or vice versa, just so that way that the bracket can stay up evenly. Now, once you have these installed, you want to just make sure that these are in tight enough. So they are. Okay, so now that I have the motherboard back in place and the back plate installed, let's move on to the radiator. First off, I am going to be putting in the fans and uh, put them in right here on the radiator. Now when you do put a fan in the radiator, you will use one of these along with putting one of the washers in here. There are eight total for both fans. Okay, so I had to get myself started on mounting the fans into the radiator because it was kind of hard to align them into place, but I will do the remaining four on camera. Now, like I mentioned, do them diagonally instead of one side and the other makes it easier. It was a bit of a hassle, but I still got them on. They're real tight, especially since you can pick them up by the fans. So it is now time to get them inside the chassis. <clears throat> Okay, so with the Antec P50, you can either install it up here or on the side of the case. I would recommend putting it on the top of the case in case if you wanted to use extra long graphics cards such as the RX 480s. So when you do install fans inside the Antec P50, you will want to make sure you turn this to the right, which unlocks this panel and then slide it, and that opens it. Since I have installed the fans on the bottom of the radiator, I will be using these screws to nail the radiator into the case. 
Okay, so that took a really long time to put the radiator on and it was a very serious hassle. But I successfully managed to get it on there. So let's close this up now. All right, so I have it fully latched on there now. Let's move on to the wiring. All right, so before I manage the cables, I will show you how this works. This, which connects to the fan, goes in. All right, so that's that. And then this one goes here, just like that. Okay, so the fans are plugged in and the cables are stuffed in the back. So I'm just going to simply put the radiator on, excuse me, the pump on, and then I am going to plug in the remaining cables. Okay, so that was a bit of a hassle to install, but we can finally peel this off and turn on the computer. Super quiet. And check it out, 27 Celsius, or 26 Celsius, so that's probably a good sign. And that about does it for this video. I will do a separate video on configuring the lights. Thank you for watching. A lot of people waste time and money because their computer is running slowly. That's why I started Remote Tech Assistance. I like to help people who are aggravated by a slow computer that frustrates you and kills your productivity. Before you buy a bunch of programs or take your computer to the repair shop, how about trying this first? Download my 7 simple secrets to make your computer run faster. It's free, it's simple, and it's safe. Just go to RemoteTechAssistance.com to get the instructions. There is a link in the description below.